Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I have episode 19 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D or another demanding editing program and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now in today's episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to make color corrections here in Photoshop. So right here we have a beautiful picture of the beautiful and talented Kate Upton and this is with the color correction on and then this is with it off. So quite a drastic change from where we were to where we are now. So guys, without further ado, let's hop right on in it and let's get started. So what we want to do right here is we want to come over here basically and there's going to be this little button right here and it's your adjustments button. And you want to click on that and it's going to pop up with a bunch of things for you. Now you guys are going to have a row of four, a row of six, and then a row of five. Now in uh, the second row, the first one we want to add some vibrance. So click on vibrance and then the vibrance is basically going to show you uh, how, how vibrant do you want the colors so right here if we scroll it to the right we see that the colors get a lot richer and if we scroll it to the left it's gonna get a little bit uh, darker and kind of almost like that black and white feel so right now I'm gonna scroll this up to about plus about 50 and that's gonna really make the colors of our skin and kind of the uh, background of the greens really pop so now what we can do is just hit this back arrow down here at the left and now we can add some curves which curves is going to be the third button on the top row and basically what we can do right here is we can kind of just make an S is what usually I do so right here we have kind of like that uh, arc of the S and then right here we kind of have that arc so uh, and also the output and input you can always make it even by saying like we'll have this at 20 and this at 20 and that'll be a perfect S so right there is a perfect curve right there for what kind of curve we're going for. I might go down to 25 just to be a little bit more safe right there. So now we have kind of really that dark, rich color with also really the popping, vibrant colors, um, especially just her skin. It just it really makes her skin pop. Uh, so if we just take these off, we can already see a, a pretty a drastic change on just the colors. And then the actual color correction part is going to come in when we hit the back arrow again. And we go to gradient map. Now when you select a gradient map, it's going to come up with, of course, a gradient. Now we can select anything we want. Um, usually the first color is what I use. It's more of a gray color. And then the second color is just uh, kind of a nice popping color. So you can use green, um, blue red yellow anything really that you want and sorry about my voice too guys I am sick right now but I need to post this up for you guys so you guys have a, uh, a GFX tip Friday of course so right now I'm just gonna select kind of this nice uh, blue if you want to use the same blue it's uh, 12 EBE 8 and we're gonna select OK I'm gonna press OK and now of course you want to get uh, this kind of off of your screen looking like that so what we can do now is go to normal when we're selected on our gradient map and select overlay and now that's going to uh, really really add really what the color correction really does so we can also if we don't like what the color looks like we can always double click this right here and come back into it and then we can still mess around with it and see what other ones are going to look like so if, let's say we were to select kind of a, a green or even a yellow would probably look really nice on this All right. So we can always do that. Um, me, I preferably use the uh, kind of bluish color to, uh, to go with this picture um, just because I, I don't really actually know why I picked it. It just kind of looks nice and it kind of adds that, that nice flair. And then what you guys can do is press shift and select all of your guys' add-ons and press control G, which is going to group them together, name it color correction, and then you guys can really see what you guys did to the computer uh, not to the, to the computer but to the image itself and see what you guys really did to it so guys I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you guys do have any questions or concerns please leave them in the comment section below I will definitely look over them and respond to you guys as soon as possible well guys until next time my name is Andrew from Posh Designs I make quality graphics for free and I make your visions a reality My thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just.
just let me know That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home And my balls keep telling me to let me out Fuck all that shit, just let me go Owers and tastemakers make us no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man